hey Dan, I thought maybe let's let's talk a bit about software updates. I think they're necessary, but we we hate them, um, and we often delay them and delay having them done. And I think it's if I had to use an analogy, it's probably it's probably similar to going for your yearly dentist checkup and uh, leaving it to the last minute and that cavity that you have once it started as a small problem and then obviously became quite a quite a big problem so yeah with software i think obviously it's produced by humans and naturally with that there is going to be flaws and vulnerabilities and i think the idea behind software updates at least from our side is patching those or patching as much of the known vulnerabilities as possible and with viruses and malware obviously they're evolving there's always new ones and and that's the idea behind the the software updates but that's just one side of the coin dan could you maybe think of of other reasons why you would do software updates sure yes um yeah i mean for for our listeners and and viewers when a lot of people think about updates and they think about software updates they they think about new features like that's that's the most important thing for them you know the company or the app or you know is bringing out something new and that's super cool and everyone wants the new stuff and a lot of people forget that there's a lot of really important security functions as well you know when we're talking about security awareness and we're talking about staying safe online and keeping our devices safe you know security is a massive function um, of a software update and so, you know, the way that you look at it from, from a security standpoint is, is updates will include patches for known vulnerabilities. So in layman's terms, a company has found that, you know, there is a flaw in their security if you're using an app, okay? And someone has discovered that there's a flaw in their security. There's a chink in the armor. There's a back door that's been left open. Once they discover that and their security team discovers that, that company and that app, they will race to close those gaps or close those vulnerabilities. And by closing them, they'll patch them. And that's the terminology that they use. So they, they will look to um, patch up those problems and they will fix those problems so that those security problems don't exist anymore. So without regular updates, your software may be super susceptible to cyber attacks, malware, and other security threats. So security is really, really important with software updates. Uh, secondly, bug fixes are big ones as well. These updates address bugs and glitches, you know, small little problems that maybe people have complained about or small little issues that the developers have found. Maybe not security issues, maybe not new features, but small little things. And each new update will fix these. And there'll be a long list of all the bugs that they've fixed and all the errors that they've discovered, and they'll they'll fix those as well. Um, new features is is obviously the big one. You know, updates, you know, enhancements to the product, improvements um, to the functionality, provide a better overall experience. So big new features, super important, and then compatibility. So updates will ensure compatibility with new hardware, operating systems, other software applications, integrations, all of that sort of thing. So making sure that the software that you're using is always as compatible as possible with the hardware that you're using or with other apps that you're wanting it to integrate with and work alongside. So it's really important to make sure that the software you're using is as current as possible so that it works seamlessly with other technologies as well. Um, and then optimization. You know, we want to make sure that whatever software we are implementing is, you know, major performance optimization on that, making sure it's as efficient as possible. And these new releases, these updates, are making sure that the software runs as fast as possible, consumes as little resource as possible, and just generally operates really smoothly. So those are your sort of core areas of why updates are so important and people shouldn't delay them. Um, there's really important stuff that happens in a software update. Yeah, absolutely. And Dan, I think... Let's maybe chat about a cyber attack, which is quite well known, but was a result of a software update, which was quite malicious. Um, obviously, the first one that springs to mind is, is a solar winds attack, which took place in 2020. Um, but it was more of a, a supply chain attack, so to speak, because it affected solar winds, but also affected their clients using the Orion management platform. 
Um, but in this case, obviously, what happened was the side that wins attack was was successful due to the Trojan forces, and obviously this was done on the side that wins side. And obviously, when that was pushed out as a software update, everyone using the platform got that as well. So for the people listening, um, how do you, they determine whether a software update is legit or not? Yeah, I mean, the, the example of SolarWinds is a, is a tough one because, you know, that was, that originated within SolarWinds. So when SolarWinds pushed out their updates, yeah. um, everyone, you know, it was a legit update and everybody trusted SolarWinds as they should and got their update from official sources. Unfortunately, it was a corrupted update on the SolarWinds side and everybody then, you know, was what was affected by that so you know legitimacy of of updates is super important though as as you've mentioned and it is an avenue that a lot of bad actors will use um if they want you to download malware onto your device a really good way to do that is to send out a fake email or a fake notification of an update that's needed, an urgent, urgent update. You know, we're back into social engineering, we're back into phishing, and this is one of the best ways to do it. You know, send out an email, send out a notification, send out an SMS, whatever it is, you know, urgent update needed, security patch needed on your software, please download update now. And that comes from a dodgy source. You download that, you now have that malware on your system that's working on the background or completely crashing your systems and locking you out there. So it's a really good entry point from a social engineering point of view. We need to confirm the, legit the, the legitimacy. We need to make sure it's coming from a correct company, that it, it isn't bad actors sending this out. And you know we need to be able to identify that. So First things first is, is try and get your updates from official sources, you know, directly from the app itself or the app store, um, you know, whether it's the Apple app store or the Google Play store, um, you know, or, or the developer's website. If it's, you know, a security software um, update that's needed, that up update needs to come from the developer's website and, and try and get it directly from there or trusted repositories, whether it's Microsoft's update catalog or the Linux package managers, you know, it needs to come from official sources. Don't just click on some link in an email. Don't just click on some link in a text message or, or SMS, you know, really go out and, and look for them if, if they are up, updating or needing updates. Um, next is security certificates. Some software updates are distributed, you know, with security certificates. You can verify that the certificate is valid and issued by a trusted certificate authority. Um, and then there's update notifications. Just be aware of, be cautious of unsolicited update notifications, especially in email pop-ups. We've spoken about these. They could be social engineering attempts. Um, and always initiate software updates from within the application or the system settings um, in that app. Don't be clicking on anything that's that's landing in your mailbox there. Um, and then security software, the, you know, use re reputable antivirus and anti-malware software. Um, a lot of this software nowadays can detect and alert you about suspicious or malicious software updates that are out there um, that, that they're finding elsewhere. So. You know, just some ways to make sure that when you do get notified about those updates, it is a legit update that, that is being done. And really the best way to do that is, is you know, those official sources. Yeah, I think another way maybe is also, and this is a bit more in depth, but I know usually when a software, a software update does come out, um, usually there will be release notes with the version number as well. So then you can double check that as well um, and exactly what the update includes. Um, so that's a good idea to do that as well. And then lastly, Dan, I think, you know, for a lot of us, it's like I mentioned, software updates is a headache. And as much as we, we want to do it, we don't always do it and we delay it. And I think automation is king here and keeping you secure and safe and how would you uh, how would you keep your software updated in the background? Yeah, it's, I mean, we it, it's definitely one of the most important behaviors from a security standpoint for keeping yourself, keeping your devices, keeping your your life as secure as possible. Software updates is insanely important, 
but it's you know the number of apps that I have on my phone, the number of apps I've got on my you know on on my my laptop is is huge. It's a massive number to try and keep on top of all of that and making sure everything's updated with the latest versions is is a pain in the butt. So you know automation is everything, and the vast majority of apps now will will allow you to to set up auto updates um, and have that running in the background. And so you don't need to do anything. Um, you know, go into your settings, turn on automatic updates and let the devices handle your own security. Um, you know, like the independent tech that they are, the apps, the devices are becoming so advanced now. Leverage that, use that, don't make it a pain in your ass. Um, you know, use the technology to auto update. And it's it's then peace of mind on autopilot. So I would definitely say one of the most important things everyone should do is go and set up their auto updates on all of their apps. There's no downside to having an application or in a piece of software updated as soon as an update comes out. It's so important. So just automate it as much as you can. Unfortunately, that some, some updates will need a personal touch. Um, and so you can do calendar check-ins for those. Some up, some updates, some software don't do automatic updates, unfortunately. So make sure that you mark a calendar for a monthly checkup, um, just like a you know a wellness visit. Um, go in, make sure that you're running the most current version of those, especially a really important software that you're using on a daily basis. That there are security implications if 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 you were to get hacked and breached and somebody got in. Um, you know, double double check that. And then, you know, OS updates, your operating system updates, you know, are the heavyweight champions um, of your device's security. Um, we've spoken a lot about apps and different software, but your actual operating systems, whether it is your laptop's operating system, whether it is your phone's operating system, um, these are really important as well and something we definitely need to need to mention and 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 include in this conversation. Um, those are huge overhauls. You know, the updates that are being done to your phones, the updates that are being done to your laptop's operating system, it's it's massively important to keep on top of those as well. Set those up on auto if you can. If you can't, get a calendar reminder um, to do that. Cool, Dan. Yeah, I think super important to squish some bugs and, and really close that security gap with software updates. And uh, that's the next cybersecurity behavior done and dusted. Thanks for your time, Dan. Appreciate it. Cheers, S. Cheers, everyone.